my husband admitted he wants me to get plastic surgery and it's killing our relationship. This weekend my husband and I were chatting on the couch down about a bottle of wine and he admitted that he preferred women with larger chests. I have always been insecure about mine. Anyway, he told me that I could always get plastic surgery to make them bigger and asked if that was every something I had considered. I felt sick to my stomach. Of course I've thought about it but I try to kick those toxic thoughts out of my head and focus on being happy with who I am. My husband saying it has made me feel like all of my worst fears about myself and my body are true. I am active on fairly skinny so the proportions he says he wants wouldn't even be possible naturally. I brought it up to him the next day and he said he probably could have worded it better but it's how he feels. I asked how he would feel if I asked him to enlarge parts of himself and he foolishly said I wouldn't want that and I immaturely said I might which has added a whole other layer of resentment. We haven't talked in over 48 hours and I feel as low about myself and our relationship as I ever have. I feel hurt at my core and I just don't even know how to start the conversation. It feels like our happy and healthy relationship is now at risk of falling apart and I can feel myself slipping into a depression. How do I express why this hurts? Everything I try to write it down I get two pages of ranting and I can't seem to simplify why this hurts so much. If you've gone through similar things I'd love to hear how you resolved it, and yes, I obviously think therapy is in the cards but we need to talk before that even matters. Comment. I have breast cancer. I found out when we went on our second date. This man has stuck by me through thick and thin. I was bald. I have scars, he couldn't touch my boobs for a while, I have radiation burns. And he supports me and tells me how beautiful I am, even when I looked like Uncle Fester. What's he going to think of your postpartum body, or your postmenopausal body? I don't know how you come back from that. I would seriously be reconsidering my relationship. I'm so sorry up. But I can say this, love the shit out of your boobs. They are magical. Up I have a lot of thoughts that I would never dump on my wife because those thoughts are about me and have nothing to do with you. Husband wouldn't be happy no matter what you did to your chest there would always be something else. If you stick to doing things that you feel right about and true to yourself then you're going to be okay. My best friend in college, and to this day, got a breast reduction in college at 20, we are now 40 and she was recently diagnosed with breast cancer and has to get a double mastectomy. To make light of the situation, she jokes she should have had to double mastectomy in college instead. Her now husband was her rock then, when they first started dating, and is her rock now. She certainly got one of the good ones. My wife had a breast reduction in our third year of dating. Sure, I enjoyed her breasts, but they gave her so much pain and hurt her while running. Seeing someone happy with their body and not in pain every day. We've been today 10 years now and I think she is more beautiful every day and that surgery was the best thing for her. I wouldn't change anything about her. I also have breast cancer. I had a double mastectomy and stayed flat. I had chemo, lost my hair, gained a ton of weight but my husband is the sweetest, most supportive man. Never ever had he even suggested I get implants. He said it's my choice and whatever I decide is exactly what he wants me to do. Her husband is a jerk. Leave him. Skip the ultimatum. If he is insensitive and shallow enough to say this to you he won't change his mind for real. He'll probably keep bugging you or cheat on you with someone who has large breasts and tell himself it's justified because you wouldn't get your breasts augmented. Don't waste any more time on this guy. You have a lot of years ahead of you to find someone who will appreciate what you have to offer. Next story too. I broke up with my boyfriend of 5 years impulsively. We've been together for 5 years and in a long distance relationship for about a year now. Him and I have gone through so many struggles and the biggest being chronic infidelity on his part. I've constantly forgiven him because he's the first and only person I've ever loved and I have hope that we could fix what we have. The good times seem to be so good but I guess my rose colored glasses are coming off. I know he has love for me, but I'm not sure he's in love with me anymore like he says. Recently, he's been brushing off my feelings, and more often than not I'm finding myself having to apologize for having an attitude with him instead of addressing why I'm upset. He has been saying that the distance is to blame for most of our issues, and has made it clear that he won't be in a long distance relationship for much longer. Last week he came to see me, and things were good for the most part. I became more open to the idea of moving back to my hometown to live with him. To my surprise, he seemed more hesitant to this idea after months of asking me to come be with him. Because of all the cheating, I naturally assumed it's because he has someone else there that he doesn't want me to interfere with. 
he reassured me that that's not the case, and we agreed I would be moving there within the month. Well now that he's back home and we're back communicating over the phone, things have been even harder. I feel like it's impossible to get through to him, every time I bring up something that upsets me he says I complain too much or he brings up that he doesn't want to wait a month to move in together. Since he's been here, I've been asking him to make a plan with me to figure out when and how I will be getting all of my stuff down. Tonight, he literally told me to figure it all out on my own. He hung up on me while I was speaking and I was just fed up with my feelings constantly being railroaded, being made to feel like things are my fault, and most of all being the only one to put in effort into the relationship when he is the one who has cheated over and over again and should be figuring out a way to fix this. I ended up sending a text that basically said I'm done being treated like this and I'm done giving chances. I'm partly writing here to vent, but also looking for some advice or words of encouragement. I'm sure from the outside looking in it seems clear, but I'm feeling very confused. Is this relationship salvageable or is it better to finally let it go? I feel like I'm regretting breaking up with him because I love him so much and I really wanted to see us making it to the point of moving in and starting a life together, but I can't do it on my own. Is it possible to make him care or understand what I'm saying? Next story 3. My wife has a crush on co-worker. What should I do moving forward about my insecurities and her crush? Hi. I'm just wondering if I'm being crazy right now or if I have an actual stance in this issue. My wife and I have been married almost a year, a year at the end of this month. We have had issues in the relationship where she has felt as I haven't been there for her as much as I should. I can admit that when she brings up an issue, I tend to shut down because I have a hard time taking in that it's my fault. I will later admit that I shouldn't have done XYZ. But the argument continues because I didn't come to the realization soon enough which causes more frustration and me becoming quiet and not wanting to speak as I feel like everything I say will sound like an excuse. In most arguments, I do something wrong even when I bring up issues. It come back to something I did wrong in the situation so I personally don't feel heard so I don't see a reason to being up issues because of this. I brought all of this up to bring some background to the next thing. Five weeks ago, my wife told me that she has a crush on someone at work but doesn't plan to do anything with it. She wanted to tell me because she wanted to be honest. Honestly this hurt me so much. I asked her what they were that I wasn't and she said they're kind and nurturing then goes but the grass is not always greener on the other side. I had told her that I didn't know what to say because I was just hurt right now. She was understanding and just sat with me. Three days later, I started to cry in her arms because I just couldn't get the thought out of my mind and I genuinely felt like I couldn't be good enough and I don't know if it'll ever be good enough. She asked me what was wrong and when I responded with I can't stop thinking about your crush and I am very sad. She got upset and was like why couldn't you have just talked to me about it. And I was like I didn't know how to bring this up to you. Then she walked away and never brought it back up. Two weeks later, she was making fun of the way I looked. I had never felt so insecure in my life since she's told me about her crush so I was embarrassed when she started to pick on me. When I told her that I didn't want her to pick on me because I felt like she didn't find me attractive, she got upset with me and says we can't ever just have fun. Then we fought a little about this until we got the point of her saying your insecurities are not my responsibility. A week later from this incident, I tell her that I can't stop thinking about her crush and I'm very sorry if I'm making her feel like she can't tell me stuff but I am feeling very insecure. She gets upset and tells me that I'm making her out to be the bad as I'm upset about a school crush. I drop it and tell her that I'm sorry for being so stupid. Now to this week, every day she texts her crush who I figured out the day she told me because it was very obvious but I didn't want to assume. We were on a date and she'll text them. We will be watching a movie and I'll make a comment and ask are you watching? And she'll say yes, can I not text for 3 seconds? And I'll drop it because it's not worth the fight at that point. Tonight, she got home later because she was helping a friend move out and she says hi to me then immediately go to texting, I don't know who but I can only assume. I'm just angry and my wife won't be honest and tell me who or then give me an reassurance about this situation. I'm so lost and confused. Any advice? She's unable to change jobs due to our careers. Comment. I mean at least she's being honest but damn how hurtful, I know my heart would be broken in paces. Yet it's just a crush but what if it was the other way around and also how can she be sure the crush doesn't turn into something deeper? She needs to woman up and stop all contact with him that's not about work. She's playing with fire and your heart at the same time. Not okay. I'm sorry you are going through that. 
I worry about my boyfriend crushing on his female co-worker all the time, it's miserable.